everybody, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today, using the Bargain Bead Box for May of 2024 Tropical Heat. Is that the name of it? Yes. I'm going to show you how I made these really cute earrings. Um, I had a couple of questions from people asking how to use these oval ring links. So this is my second video showing you how to, or maybe it's my third. Um, no, it's my second. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so I'm just going to show you how I made these really cute, quick, and they're pretty lightweight too. Um, I'm using the faceted octagon beads in opaque red, the number eight. I have this little jump ring container. I got it from um, BB Craft. I will leave a link below if you would like to um See this, really loved this. So I have seven centimeter and five centimeter, um, two seven centimeter jump rings and one five centimeter jump ring. Wait a minute, that doesn't look like that's, no, that's a four. Okay, so a four and then I have an, an ear wire and then I have those. I have, I'm using two of the links, the oval links, and then these are my seed beads that I'm using. They're 11-0 check seed beads in transparent gold. And then I'm using a number 10 beading uh, needle and some Beadalon Wildfire. I will leave a link below to this as well if you're looking for this. Um, so this is a pretty easy tutorial. So what I'm doing, let me move this up here a little bit so it's still in view. And then what I do is I take the jump rings and I add some um, seed beads to them because it just gives them a little bit of sparkle. If you look at it, it just kind of, you know, decorates them up a little more so they don't just look like plain jump rings. I do this a lot with my jewelry. So, um, Okay, so I'm going to take seven of these, and then I'm going to put two gold uh, seed beads in between, and then when I get up here, I'm going to do two on each side. So here is the two to start the top. Let me get this up here. So I've got two, and then I'm going to do one, and then two. And I'm just going to keep repeating this. until I get seven on here. Five, four, and there's three more, five. Six, where is that, six, and then seven. So, and put this through. Then I'm going to do two more. Okay. So I have it like this. Now I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to go down, leave a little bit of a tail, enough of a tail. I'm leaving a little extra tail. Usually when I'm just doing this by myself, I don't leave as much because I don't like to waste uh, beading wire. But, you know, doing the video... Oh, hold on one second. Everything got cut around my, all of my things here. Now I'm left-handed, so I'm going up like this. And I'm going to go up and make sure that you get through the seed beads. Because if you don't, it's not going to go into a full circle. So I'm getting up to there. So then what I'm going to do there... I'm just going to pull this needle all the way through. And I'm holding my little tail right there. And then I'm going to go up through the rest of them. And you get up through there. They're not going through as well. Okay, so then I go I'm up through there. And then these are the last two right here. And let me see. 
There we go. Actually getting a cramp in my finger from this. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna pull this all the way through. I'm gonna pull out a little more tail like that and hold that. And I'm gonna pull all those down until it's kind of like this. Now, I don't wanna tie it so tight that it wrinkles these. So when I have it kind of like this, now I'm gonna do my knot. I'm gonna do the first one like that. And then I'm gonna do the surgeon's knot, as they call it, one, two, Okay, so we have that done like that. So we're right here. So now I'm gonna take 11 seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I'm gonna bring this down. And now I'm gonna take one of the oval rings, put that through. And now I'm gonna go up again through all 11 of those. Let me see here, there we go. And I'm gonna go through that one more time. So. Now I'm going to, I'm just gonna hold that in there and drag that all the way down like that. and kind of take my nail and just kind of pull it down until it gets to where, you know, you can't see the thread. Then I'm gonna take the beading thread and I'm gonna tie a knot in it so that you won't be able to see the thread. So I got one and I'm gonna do the surgeon's knot again, one, Two. I'm gonna pull that tight. I'm gonna take my bent chain nose pliers. Just kind of give that a nice little tug right there. So that's how it is. And then I'm going to cut this little piece of wire right here. Now this, I consider it to be the back. So when I go to, you know, put the um the air wire on I will make sure that it is uh not showing that okay so now I'm going to go back down through some of these just to kind of get me okay so we've got that yeah so I'm just kind of going through these go through a couple more like this and so here I am this far so I'm going to take brush cutters I'm going to do this I'm going to put the beading wire aside I'm going to turn it this way because this is the way I want to have it so now I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this bigger jump ring here and I'm going to put I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna get it kind of close down there. And I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna start threading some seed beads on here. This is my, my favorite way to do it because especially if you have a good beading mat like this. Three four, get a couple more, five, oh, I think you do like seven, six, seven, I think I got like seven. So now I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to put this on there too. And now 
I'm going to close this up like that. So I have this right there. So this is laying like this. I'm going to take one more. I'm going to open this up. Where's the opening? Oh, here it is. Okay. And I'm going to do a, go back down again like that. I'm going to put like seven or eight. So I'm going to do one. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, six, and then we'll get one more, seven. If I can get that on. Six and come on. Seven. There we go. Okay. So now. Oh, before I go and do that, let me lay this down here. So this is the smaller one that I'm going to use right here. I want to make sure that's closed up. So I'm going to take this jump ring. I'm going to put it through here. And then I'm going to take the smaller jump ring and put it on there as well. And I'm going to close this up like that. Make sure it's closed really well. Then I'm going to take this jump ring. Now, because I'm going to, when I put it on, it's going to want it to go a certain way. I'm going to make sure that that right there, that it's going to be facing the way I want it to. So if you have a little bit of string or anything, So here's this. Okay. So now, and like I said, don't forget to use my code BN Jewelry BNJ2 if you uh, are interested in this this box. So I love the way these turned out. They're, and they're lightweight, so they're not heavy. They're just really cute earrings. I've been having a blast with this Tropical Heat Bargain Bead Box. Um, I think this is my fourth tutorial. I usually don't do that many with one box, but this one's been really fun. So, um, yeah, so let me know in the comments what you think of this, if you think you might make it. And I would like to thank everyone for watching and stay tuned for that next video. I know you're going to love it. And all of my information is below in the description and you have a great day.